my friends welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be reviewing delicious eats by cordia cordia brown we have country chicken fried chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy we have sausage and grits we have southern chicken Southern Kitchen Chicken Fettuccine Alfredo. Say that three or four times. Southern Kitchen Chicken Fettuccine Alfredo. And oh, they're all oh, they're all country kitchen set. The sausage and grits is not a country kitchen. Strange. Okay. And country kitchen chicken pot pie. Let's start with this one because you know I did the Gordon Ramsay um, frozen dinner review and um, this one was the worst one. I think I gave it a one or two. So after I heated them up, I just slid them back into the box to keep them warm. Okay. It looks like this. It's kind of got that same pastry shell as Gordon Ramsay hand. Let's flip it back. Um, this does have more peas. Gordon Ramsay only gave me one pea. I see some carrots. Doesn't smell like cat food. So let me turn it this way for you. To see. It's said to cook for five and a half minutes. I cooked it for seven minutes. It's still a little bit cold. It's not boiling hot. The chicken tastes like chicken. It's so much better quality than Gordon Ramsay. I don't know who this lady is, but, um, it's got like a field of dough crust. It's a lot better than Gordon Ramsay. It's still tough. That's a pack crust. They're flaky. It's flaky. Better quality than Gordon Ramsay. Gordon should be embarrassed. This lady, she's just beating out his. Okay. I give it like a five. <clears throat> it's not gonna beat all uh, Marie Callender's. So I don't know why y'all even try to even make chicken pot pies because no one's gonna beat out uh, Marie Callender's pot pie. So chicken for the chili Alfredo. This is what it looks like. This is the last one I just cooked. I heated this one up for seven minutes. Yeah, it doesn't look appetizing at all. I waited to stir it up because I wanted y'all to see exactly what it looked like. This is what it looks like. Stir it up. And um, this one says cook for four minutes. And um, 
and for another 30 seconds to stir it up, but I'm gonna cook it for seven minutes. This is the last one I just cooked, and I came straight in here. So, let's give it a taste test. I'm gonna tell you, them noodles are so raw. It's still cold. Mm. I'll give it a five. Heat it up maybe four or five more minutes and it'll be ready. It's still kind of not done. Let's try the sausage and grits. Alright, this is sausage and grits. I see some peppers, I see three pieces of sausage, there's some kind of brown goop right there. Man, it doesn't look appetizing at all. Some people don't like grits. Grits are delicious. It's just a ground up corn. I may have to put some sauce, uh, sausage, some salt and pepper in it. Oh my gosh, so cold. I mean, Y'all have got to work on these damn um, timing. I'm talking about, I added extra timing for Gordon Ramsay's. I added more time to this brand. got a good smoky flavor to it. I'm not going to stop my video to go heat the things up because yes I am. I'm going to go heat these up because it's not fair to heat to review them cold. I'll be right back. Let me go heat this up. I get to all right my friends i'm back from reheating these up i heat them all of them up for three minutes except for the pot pie i did for one minute okay let's taste test this pot pie again now i can tell the bowl's hot Mm, we're hot now. <clears throat> Still better than Gordon Ramsay. I think I gave it a five while ago. I'm still going to give it a five. Um, you just can't beat uh, Marie Callender's pot pie. Would I buy again? No. My dogs will enjoy it. Alright, this one was the country chicken fried chicken one. We had, didn't get to um, taste this one. Okay. It's nice and hot. This is supposed to be gets like this um, Kentucky Fried Chicken Bowl. They have with the fried chicken, gravy, corn. 
natural Tito's. I've never had one. I was going to get one one time until I saw how many calories is in it. I know I got mixed up. This is 410 calories. It's less calories than Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, hot. You got to put in a little. My pepper don't like to get them out of that little hole. Most of them going to say, well, these frozen dinners have a lot of salt in them. They mean, they don't taste like it. Maybe they put some other seasoning in them. You know, rosemary, thyme, stuff like that. Italian seasoning. Garlic. You know, this wouldn't be bad if they were put on the side of some gravy. Is there gravy in here? I don't think there was no gravy. This was down in there. I don't see no gravy. But you know, I'm going to give it an eight. If I had to buy this again, it's not bad. Mm. Let me see. That one's no good. Let's see. Yeah, that was the pot pie one, you know. I'm going to give that to my dog. I'm going to eat that. Let's see. Which, oh, this one is the... The Southern Kitchen Chicken Fettuccine Alfredo. This was the pasta that was so tough on the go. Let mm, what is, is that smell in there? Is that, what is in that? I don't know, but that might be spinach or something. That's collard greens. Grilled chicken to perfection paired with a savory, rich, creamy, low country style Fredo sauce and sauteed collard greens on a bed of fettuccine. Mm, I don't like collard, collard greens. I love spinach. Mm. All right. Let's see if it's better. It's got this strong smell. Let's season it up some. It's still better than Gordon Ramsay's. I get a four. It's got this. Thanks to collard greens. And the, the noodles are still tough. Chicken not bad if you want to spend six dollars for little pieces of chicken. I did bigger than Gordon Ramsay's chicken. So would I eat that? Again? No. I'm putting those on the box because I'm not, I'm not going to eat those. All right, this one's the shrimp and grits. I know I'm going to need some salt and pepper on this one. Some, not shrimp and grits. I wish it was shrimp and grits. This is sausage and grits. Man, it's just.
sausage has a very good taste. It's a very good, nice, smoky um, taste. Like some smoked on the uh, smoker. The casing is very chewy. It's kind of hard to get that chewed up and swallowed. <clears throat> the grits are so runny. That's not how I'm making like that. Runny. I don't know. <coughs> I saw such a chilling. Uh, that's for my friends. They like me to burp. Oh. Here comes Loma. See, it looks like mashed potatoes there. This is like some kind of runny baby food. Um, you should never um freeze um grits. I tried doing that one time because I made too much. Grits does not freeze well. And um, I guess whoever made this, the company, they did not know that grits does not freeze well at all. She's supposed to be a chef. She should know that. I'm going to give it a three. One thing that's okay eating in there is the sausage inside. The rest of it, it ain't worth it. They're not bad. I just need some of them. Is it worth six dollars? No. You don't spend six dollars? Cook KFC and get it. Was eight dollars, six, seven, something like that. Oh no! Yeah, they do have that. And KFC does have that pop pie. Yes, because I remember I did do a review not too long ago of KFC's pop pie. Terrible. I've never reviewed this. The KFC. Because I think it's $8 or something like that. And all I can see is I can make it for a dollar myself. Um, and I'm, all I need is you can just make this yourself with uh, leftovers. You got some leftovers, mashed potatoes. And you may have some corn left over from the night before or whenever. And if you got some chicken tenders, nuggets, or chicken tenders, you can chop, chop them up. And he make you some, some country gravy, gravy, green gravy, whatever kind of gravy you want. And, um,. I think KFC, they may have cheese on there. You can sprinkle a little cheese on top of it. Uh, this is one thing I say I can make myself. I don't think I would buy it to eat it here or unless y'all say, hey, would you go to KFC and try that? Bowl, then I, I would do it, but um, myself, no, I'm gonna make my dogs apart now. Uh, I guess I better get ready to go see what they're doing. Not bitch, I'm in my yard. Mm hmm. All right, well, I'll give that an eight. If you don't cook and um, you're in a small town, don't have a KFC. But hey, I say, if you cook and don't have a KFC, you can make that self, that, that, make that at home. 
Just get you some leftover mashed potatoes from the night before, put in your bowl and some corn, chicken nuggets, chicken tenders cut up. And you could put just some sprinkle, some shredded cheddar cheese on top of it. Make it with some gravy. And um, maybe throw in a little bit of parsley or something. A little chopped on green onions or something. Voila. You got your nice meal. So, but I'm going to finish that. But, um. Oh, that's my TV. I was like, what's this doing? I'm getting ready for Halloween. Halloween stuff on TV. So, all right. So, I will see y'all in the next video. And, um, really, I wouldn't waste my money on any of these. It's better than Gordon Ramsay's. So, yeah. Bye-bye. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, and click that bell notification. Bye-bye.